right now I work at the University of Heidelberg and I work in the in Bernd Buchaus laboratory on co-translation of protein folding and of formation of protein complexes. Uh, now uh, I work as a postdoctoral researcher and I the job that I do right now is more or less the continuation of my studies that I did here at the IGP. After finishing here at Academia Sinica, I went, I totally switched fields. I went to uh, MIT, then my advisor moved to Yale, so that's how I get to be in two places at the same time. And I was working still a little bit, a little bit on translation, but it was more translational regulation. Uh, but uh, eventually my contract expired, did not get renewed, and I had to look for a new uh, avenue if I wanted to pursue my career goal, which is to become an independent PI. It does help, yeah. So by switching field, I, it's, it was not a totally time wasted because I've learned in America, I've learned systems biology. I had learned uh, sequencing techniques. So I think I can utilize that in my future career as well. So I don't take it as a time wasted. Although it has been hard to be in America alone where my wife was still studying at the IGP. Let me tell you a story how I actually get to know about the AGP because I'm obviously not coming from Taiwan. Uh, so I remember it fairly well. Right now, I was in my third year in my university, just finishing my bachelor degree, and there was a delegation coming from Taiwan uh, introducing the AGP. I knew I wanted to pursue a PhD, and I kept this option in my mind. So when I finished my master degree, I applied for TIGP because I had some better connection to Taiwan and I really liked this island. I wanted to, uh, you know, and when I heard that there is a, such a program that's in English, uh, a fully funded position, uh, then I thought, okay, let's give it a try. And it has been, everybody tells uh, that switching a country is hard and it is hard. It has been especially hard during the first year, but gradually I have adjusted to the life here in Taiwan. And when I was leaving, I felt like I was leaving home as well. So becoming part of the TIGP family, yes, it's like really like becoming a family because international students especially, uh, they need this sense of community. And I think that was something that the IGP could provide. So when I got here today, which is five years later then, I thought, okay, we're gonna be having the graduation ceremony in the same room that I did that. And I was like, no, it's in the big room. I thought, so many people graduating now. It was nice to be back. It brought back memories on uh, how I graduated myself. Uh, I, and I felt grateful to the people that were in the administration then, that are in the administration now. And I'm glad it's still continuing. And I'm glad uh, I could hear Sunny Chen giving conferral speech because he's actually the advisor of my advisor. I think it's important not to be afraid. Uh, so I said before that switching a country is hard, but so that makes it a difficult decision. But I think on the long term, it was the best decision that I could make because mobility in science is important and uh, being able to find the courage to move into a different country for your PhD is, well, I think give that particular person a really clear start for future career. Encouragement for incoming students when they are here, don't be shy, ask questions. Uh, don't be shy, knock on the big shot PI's door, discuss your project because uh, professors like to discuss projects. They like inquisitive students. And if I, you know, if I knew what I know right now and I could take it back, I would have done things differently. And this would be the encouragement that I would have given myself. I would say thank you for all the time that you have dedicated to me. Uh, I would say, I would say to my advisor, I would say thank you for actually letting me do what I wanted to do, uh, not trying to control, uh, control my research. I know I was relatively uh, oddball in the lab, doing something completely different than the rest of the lab, but he, would, he still gave me the opportunity and trusted me enough to actually pursue my uh, scientific goals. He helped, 
he sent me to conferences uh, wherever I wanted. So for that, I'm grateful as well. I would like to uh, thank Sunny Chen, where I had a chance to uh, discuss with him from time to time. And it was always great seeing him in the hallway and joke around with him. Uh, for my family, I wanted to thank them for all the for the encouragement that they gave me to actually go to Taiwan in the first place, uh, then uh, kicking me back to Taiwan after my first vacation in a year, where I was not really sure if I want to return. So, and then that, and then that return, I had to say, uh, that's when I, after that, I met my wife. So, it was definitely a life-changing event. So you, even if it feels hard, you never know how your life is gonna turn out. So.